Okay, so let's talk about how we're gonna sew. Um, you've drawn the template onto your pillow or your mug rug. Okay, they're both, they both look exactly the same. Um, you start in this upper corner where the opening would be. There should be no stitching in this area. So we're gonna start in the upper corner. You knot in, do a straight stitch. When you get to a corner, just turn the corner and keep following your line. When you start to run out of thread, when you get to the finger length, then you need to knot off. And then you re-thread, knot in, stitch, and knot off again. So it's just a process. All right, so let's get started. I've got my two arm length of thread. Can't pick it up, okay? So that means that it's stretching from my fingertips to my elbow twice. That's the length of the thread. All right, we send it through the eye of the needle. go and then the needle should be in the middle of the thread and if you have trouble seeing what I'm doing with the um, tying of the knots and all that be sure to watch the knot how to knot video all right so two tail ends together finger guns over under make an X hold reach through grab the tail ends bring it through the loop drag that loop to the end of the tails about an inch from the end Close the knot up. All right, so needle is on the opposite end of the knot and tail ends. Okay, to knot in, I did make a video with this that showed you how to knot in so you could see things a little bit more clearly, but here we go with knotting in. All right, so wherever you left off or where you wanna start the stitch, you make a teeny tiny stitch. So I poked into the material poked out through the material. There's just a little bitty pinch of cloth in there. Push the needle through, and when you get almost to the knot, figure out how to go between the two pieces of thread and the knot. Okay, so I'm between the two threads and the knot, and then continue to pull. The knot hits the material, and you are stuck in there. This is called knotting in. All right, the straight stitch is just and up, down, up, down, up, down motion. So go down through the cloth, pull snug, up through the cloth. This is the tricky part because you gotta get right on the line. Try to stay on your line that you drew. Up, down. And you're trying to fit about four to five stitches per inch. So let me get a few stitches on here and I'll show you what I mean. Because if your stitches are too far apart, and when you go to put the stuffing in your pillow, the stuffing could get shoved right through and it'll fall apart. It's not gonna hold as well. So you want nice, tight, close stitches. All right, let me get about one more. There we go. All right, so to tell you what, um, how many stitches per inch, if you take your finger like this, this space between knuckle and knuckle is about one inch. So using that as your guide, hold it up against the stitches. You should have about four stitches within an inch. So I've got one, two, three, four, five stitches that I can see in that one inch. And that's about how many you want. Okay, so just continue on with your up, down, up, down motion. Now, if you accidentally uh, make a whip stitch, okay, you're gonna freak out and I'm gonna say it's okay this time. So what a whip stitch looks like is when you're coming up through the cloth and then you whip around and you come back up through the cloth again. Do you see how the thread is whipping around? You pull all the way through. There's not a whole lot I can do to fix it because if I wanted to try to fix it, I'd have to go back through the same holes in the material to take the thread out and that's nearly, I won't say impossible, but it's very difficult to do. So if you happen to whip, it's okay at this point. It's not gonna mess anything up, but just try not to do that. So try not to whip stitch. We will whip, whip stitch later. We do use that in sewing, but not when we're trying to do a straight stitch. Okay, once you master straight stitch, you can do what I call the rocker stitch. So with the rocker stitch, 
hold the cloth in your non-dominant hand. Then you take the needle and you're going to bunch the fabric up onto the needle. So I poke in once, make a little pinch of material onto the needle, and just keep doing that until you have about three, four, or five pinches of material on your needle. Can you see that? Now I've got one, two, three, four pinches of cloth onto my needle. And then I push the needle all the way through, pull the thread through, and I just did about an inch worth of stitching with less motion. So once you master straight stitch and you understand what you're doing, you can attempt the rocker stitch. Push through. All right, I'm gonna um, come back to you in just a second when I get down to an, a finger length and show you how to knot off. So I've stitched around and I've gotten my um, thread to a finger length. So what I mean when I say finger length is if you touch where the last stitch was and then you touch the eye of the needle, it should be one finger length long. So I'm touching where my finger attaches to my hand. So that is one finger length. If you try to get as many stitches as you can and your uh, thread is only like this long, it's going to be very difficult for me to help you knot off, okay? You're gonna have to uh, cut it, take stitches out. It's a whole lot more process. So it's very important that you hear me when I say stop at one finger length. Okay, so to knot off where your stitch left off, you're gonna make a teeny tiny stitch right where you left off. Make sure you have a bit of fabric, just a teeny tiny bit of fabric between your last stitch and where the needle goes in. Poke through. All right, now before that, uh, the thread closes up, take your needle through the loop that it's making, pass the needle through the loop, and then pull tight. And when you tug, it should not tug on any of your stitches. If you tug and your stitches kind of gather up, you've gone, you haven't gotten quite the right stitch in there. So you have to smooth it out and try knotting off again. Okay, but once you feel secure and it's not going anywhere, then you can cut your needle free. And then get more thread, start up, and finish out where you are trying to go.